New here at 10 o'clock, a South Florida student was hit and injured after getting off the school bus. His mother said the accident could have been prevented. Now her push to drive change has a state lawmaker taking action. The night team's Heather Walker has the latest in this 7 Investigates update. Violators caught in the act. Cameras installed on Miami-Dade school buses capture the license plates of cars that illegally pass. Stop on. Camera activated. Technology like this is relatively new, but stop signs on school buses are not. I did not want to watch the video right away. As Seven Investigates reported in May, there was no stop sign on the private school shuttle that dropped Nicholas Suarez signs off after school in Coral Gables. From a neighbor's security camera, you can see the 15-year-old starting to cross the street. The next moment, he's hit by this van. Police say the driver crossed a double yellow line. I was really lucky. A second later on his end, or a second earlier for me, I couldn't be here in this interview right now. His mom, Dr. Regina Sines, feared the worst. I made a couple of phone calls and asked people to pray. Thankfully, Nicholas only had minor injuries, but his mom says his accident exposed a major problem. In Florida, stop signs are required on public school buses, but not private school vans. Now, that could soon be changing. My goal for speaking out, even though that it was difficult, um, it was to share our experience and to promote change to ensure that every child has the same protection when they go to school. Enter Senate Bill 52, filed just last week by State Senator Ileana Garcia. If passed, this bill would require stop signs on all school buses and vehicles, ensuring that students are transported safely regardless of whether they attend public, private, or charter schools. I got emotional because I felt that there was a chance to protect other children not to undergo an incident like my child experienced. Senator Garcia says what the family went through highlighted the urgent need for improved safety standards in private school transportation. I'm very hopeful. I'm, it's gratifying to see that someone listened. The 2025 legislative session doesn't start until March, and the filing of a bill is just the first step. But Dr. Sines believes it's a step in the right direction. If at one point down the line, another child can be prevented from getting injured uh, as they are transporting from school would be so satisfying for me. A parent turning her family's pain into a push to help others. Heather Walker, 7 News.